This is the KOBK News for July and August of 1917. Steve Granning reporting. More preparations for war begin our news broadcast. The Old Exemption Board prepared registration cards in readiness for the draft. Local men who registered for the draft were advised to find their draft number in anticipation for the draft lottery. Finally, the draft numbers were announced and those registered learned that they had to report for draft examination. Notices were then sent out to 120 men to report in groups of 40 for physical examinations. Of these 120 young men, 58 must be found able-bodied to serve. If not, the next group of 40 will be called in until the 58-man quota is reached. Once the quota has been reached, the draft board will consider claims for exemptions on which they can rule. These claims would involve dependent relatives and industrial reasons, which would include agriculture. In this original group, 49 have been certified for military duty. Another group of 40 will be examined to build the number up to 58. More are likely going to be needed once all the claims for exemptions are finalized. A group of 67 was finally created and waiting word on exemptions. The exemption board is now considering these possible exemptions. Company I also continue to be in the news. President Wilson's proclamation drafting the state's troops in the U.S. Army. Due to this proclamation, soldiers from Company I have started preparing for mobilization. Camp Cody, near Deming, New Mexico, is reported to soon be ready for National Guardsmen to prepare for combat, possibly as soon as early September. To help encourage our Oatana young men going off to war, a bronze medal with the American Eagle perched on the American flag and encircled with the inscription, I Company or Supply Company, Oatana is with you. And the soldier's name was given as a keepsake to the soldiers of both groups. In other news, automobiles are becoming increasingly popular in Steele County. In fact, at their present rate, they will soon be more numerous than horses in the county. There are 1,335 automobiles in Steele County as of May 1, 1917, as opposed to just 980 listed the year before. Who would have believed this only a few short years ago? As August draws to a close, the Steele County Fair begins. This will be the largest fair in Steele County history. There are six free attractions near the grandstand, concession stands everywhere in the grounds, and the Oatana National Band will play at night for dancing. The KOBK Centennial News is provided by the Steele County Historical Society, preserving and sharing history today for tomorrow.